Radical innovations in energy generation and utilization technologies are necessary to ensure a safe and sustainable future. One aspect of this utopia involves exploiting renewable energy sources to generate green, hydrogen and liquid fuels, via electrocatalytic water splitting. In addition, a suite of highly efficient, chemical to electrical conversion technologies are required. Fuel cell devices involve electrochemical oxidation of a fuel and are a promising avenue for small to intermediate scale operations. The oxygen reduction reaction, ORR, is at the heart of many such fuel cell devices and holds a special place in the field of electrocatalysis. In the ORR, molecular oxygen is electrochemically reduced by four protons and electrons to form water, which is accompanied by generation of an electrical potential. The ORR also occurs in other devices such as batteries, metal air batteries, and electrochemical sensors. In batteries, the ORR is one of the reactions that occur during the discharge of the battery, while in metal air batteries, the ORR is the reaction that takes place at the air electrode. Electrochemical sensors also rely on the ORR to detect gases such as oxygen. Such sensors are devices that detect the presence of a target analyte through an electrochemical reaction. ORR is a multi-electron reaction that may include a number of elementary steps involving different reaction intermediates. Of various reaction schemes proposed for the ORR, a modified scheme appears to be the most effective one to describe the complicated reaction pathway by which O2 is reduced at metal surfaces. Based on this reaction scheme, O2 can be electrochemically reduced either directly to water with the rate constant K1 without intermediate formation of H2O2 or to hydrogen oxide add with the rate constant K2. The adsorbed peroxide can be electrochemically reduced to water with the rate constant K3, catalytically decomposed on the electrode surface, K4, or desorbed into the bulk of the solution, K5. Catalysts used for ORR can be broadly classified into two categories, noble metal catalysts and non-noble metal catalysts. Noble metal catalysts, such as platinum, gold, and palladium, have high activity and stability but are expensive. Non-noble metal catalysts, such as transition metal-based catalysts, carbon-based catalysts, and metal oxide catalysts, are cheaper but typically have lower activity and stability than noble metal catalysts.